Matthew, Matthew. We go to the book of Matthew, chapter 6. There is this morning, uh, I felt really uh, something in my spirit. And I uh, just uh, believe, I believe that God is about to do great things. Because when I heard, uh, when Sarah was leading and then taking us to that prayer, I was sure to believe that, you know, the devil will not win. God Amen. is a winner. Amen. Amen. The devil will not win, but God is a winner. Amen. 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 You know, the devil can make prediction, the devil can make decisions, the devil can plan a lot of plans. But he will not succeed. Amen. Amen. Because we are in a place of promise. Amen. Amen. This is a place of promises. God has promised this place 20 years ago. Before even that, even from the beginning of the world. I remember the next year we will celebrate the 20, 20 years. 20 years. Next year in April will be 20 years of the existing of the church, 20 years in April. So if you need 20 years, do you know how many people say the same thing? 20 years, say tomorrow they will close the church, next year they will close the church, next month they will close the church. 20 years we've heard the same thing, but God himself is in control. Amen. Amen. So we know God is in control. No matter what people can say, no matter what people can plan, but God is in control. Amen. Amen. I believe 20 years that God started this vision. We've got a people who came and people who left. The people came and left. The people came and left. But because God is God, is still working. Amen. 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 No matter what we can see, no matter what around us, but God is still on the throne. The same God who gave the promise for to start this church, the same God who has spoken to build the church, this church is the same God. 20 years till today is the same God. Amen. 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 So that's what I just to encourage you to build your faith on the promises of God, on what God has said. Don't what people are saying, but believe on what God has said. Amen. I always believe in the promises of God. I don't believe on what people say, because people are people. People have their own opinions, but God has his own truth. Amen? Amen. When God is saying yes, nobody can say no. When God is saying, I will build this, no one can destroy it. Amen. People can destroy it, but they will not destroy the foundation. They will only destroy the wall. Amen. Amen. They can give opinion, they, they destroy reputation, but God is the only one who can rebuild all the reputation. Amen. Amen. This is not my preaching today, but I would like just only to encourage you. Because when I heard a prayer, you know, I said, no, I, I feel I really just encourage people. 20 years ago, I remember how our reputation, every year people was trying just to, to wreck our reputation. But at the end, God is the only one who will review their reputation. Amen. It's not on the mouth of the people, but by the power of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. So, Church of God, just stick on the Word of God. Don't stick on the opinion of people. People are people. People will come, people will go. But God will remain on the throne. Amen? Amen. Amen. God is God. People are people. And people will remain people. But God is sitting on the throne. Nothing can shake him. <laughs> Nothing. There is no opinion of the people can shake God. God will remain God. Amen. And that when we stay on God with Him, and uh, we walk according to His word, and uh, we will see how God can manifest in Himself. We thank God. We know how some of our friends 
They went to holidays, Pastor Dominic and his family. Uh, Brother Gary, I think he has a problem with his car. I don't know if it has been fixed. Yesterday he was telling me that uh, he has a little problem with his car. Uh, some other people, those who cannot, cannot be here, we thank God for uh, those who cannot be there. But uh, as you are there, be blessed. I know that God will bless you today. Amen. 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 Uh, we open our Bibles in the book of Matthew, chapter 6. Chapter 6 in the book of Matthew. Chapter 6. We start from verse 9 and 10. By the respect of the word of God. We take our Bibles and uh, as we read, someone who has uh, the English version can just uh, take the microphone and to read for us the English version at the same time all of us we as we are reading uh, from first chapter 6 from verse 9 to 10 Amen. in Jesus name Amen in this manner therefore our, therefore pray our Father in heaven hallowed be thy name your kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven can you read it again slowly our Father from verse 9 in this manner therefore pray our Father in heaven. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you because you are our Father in heaven. We glorify your name. We sanctify your name. Father God, let your kingdom come. And yourself to be glorified, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Uh, here, when Jesus was uh, on this planet, when Jesus was on the earth, he was with his disciples. But there was one day he had to teach them how to pray. And uh, here we are in the book of Matthew, when Jesus has to teach his people how to pray. But uh, we notice something, the way that he taught them how to pray uh, was very meaningful. In the prayer, Jesus started to say, Our Father in heaven. That means we are all children and we have a father. Here Jesus would like us to emphasize to his disciple that we have a father. We have a father. We have a creator. We have someone who has created us. You know, in a family, oh, every child needs a father. Amen. Amen. Every child needs a father. Every child knows the importance of a father. You know, in, uh, even if uh, the children, they are alone with the mom. But when God comes home, everything will change. Amen? Amen. We always see every morning our children before they go to school. They always say, Daddy, I want. Daddy, because they know that Daddy is the answer. Every child knows that daddy is the answer of everything. Even if you don't have, but your child knows that you are the answer of everything. And here, only simply because the child sees the father as someone who has uh, the answer of everything. Father is uh, meaningful to everything. And here Jesus is teaching 
teaching the disciple to know that you are as children, but you are the father. Amen. 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 And the father is uh, able. You are the father who is a creator. You are the father who is able. You are the father who can do everything. You are the father who is sitting on the throne. And then he told the disciple, this is how you can pray. Our father in the heaven. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we, 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 we look at, we, we, we want to look at people. You know, sometimes we put our trust on people. We trust more people. Because I, when you see that, okay, this person can do this for me. That person can do this for me. But let me tell you, people are people. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. But what do you know as a child of God? That we have a Father in heaven. The one who controls everything. Everything can be closed. But when God, our Father, stands, it will be open. Amen. Am I talking to someone? Amen. Am I talking to someone? Amen. All doors can be closed on this planet, on this earth. But if your Father in heaven is tender, and those doors will be open. And that's why Jesus told the disciples to remind them in that prayer, our Father in heaven, that means to rebuild the trust in the Father who is in heaven. Our Father in heaven, let your kingdom come. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes we have, we, you know, the kingdom of God is uh, the, the, the gathering of his power. The kingdom of his God is the manifestation of his glory. The kingdom of God is the manifestation of his power. The kingdom of God is the manifestation of his sanctification, his holiness. The kingdom of God is the manifestation of his great greatness. And then when we pray, let your kingdom come, that means let be the manifestation of your glory. Amen. Amen. And Jesus taught the disciple that you have to ask the kingdom of the Father to come down. Simple because when the kingdom comes down, there will be a manifestation of his power. Amen. There will be the manifestation of his glory. When the manifestation of his power comes down, no matter what can be around us, no matter what the power of the darkness, no matter what the power of the enemy, but when the power, the manifestation of the power of God comes down, it will make a change in everything. Amen. Jesus wanted his disciples to learn how to Link to be linked with God. You know, if you don't understand who is God for you, you will not serve in the way that you should serve. Him. There are so there are so many people that look at God as just a creator, but they don't see the aspect of relationship with God. They don't understand how we can go deep and deep to seek for His glory to be manifested. There are the people they know God, but they don't know how to come close to his glory. They know God, yes, but they don't know how to come close to his power. And that's why Jesus, before leaving them, when he was with his disciples, he wanted the disciples to learn, to seek for the manifestation of God, of his power, of his greatness. Let your kingdom come. How is the kingdom of God in heaven? How is the kingdom of God? In the kingdom of God, there is love. Amen. Amen. In the kingdom of God, there is love. The true love. How can you say that you love your, your brother and sister, but your heart is not really there? How can you say that you love God, but there is not a true love with your neighbor? 
The kingdom of God is the manifestation of his law. In his kingdom there is, a, there is love. In his kingdom there is grace. Amen? Amen. 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 Sometimes there is no grace among us. Grace implies forgiveness. Grace implies to accept another the way that you accept yourself. It's by grace that God has accepted us. If we try to open the book of our lives, and you look at yourself, you see yourself. And sometimes you, can, you will ask the question, why God, who is holy, has to love someone like me? Why God, who is so powerful, to come down and to die on the cross for you? But simply because the manifestation of his love. Amen. Because in kingdom, there is love. You know, so many times we want people to love us. But it's hard sometimes for us to love other people the way they are. We have some kind of characteristics of people that we want. I want someone to be like this. I want someone to be like that. I want someone to be like that. And then if that person falls into the characteristics that you want, and that person will be your friend, will be your uh, next to you, will be the person that uh, you will be walking with. Because that person falls into the characteristics that you want. You have already, you have boxes where you have already coached. Cross there. I want this kind of person. I want this kind of person. I want that kind of person. If that person cannot fill the box, you will not love the person. And sometimes what we do is it's false. God loves us the way we are. God didn't put any box there and say, I want to be, I want you to be like that. I want God took you the way you are. God selected us the way that we are. And then He called us to become His children. And then we can stand and say, our Father in heaven. And then he can answer our prayers. When we pray, we cry, our Father in answer. He can hear us. Amen. So because he didn't choose us, so because of certain criteria. He chose us the way we are. By giving us Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So through Jesus Christ, God loves us. Through Jesus Christ, God sees us. And he sees us justified. So that's why when Jesus was telling his people, uh, his disciples, the way to pray, he said, let your kingdom come. That means let your fullness of love come. Because the kingdom of God is the manifestation of his love. Let your kingdom come. And then if the children of God can understand that we have a father, in him there is a true law. Someone can hate you today. Someone can let you go today. Let you down today. You will have an answer. If you don't love me, God loves me. Hallelujah. Be able to say, if you don't approach me, I know God can approach me. If you don't want to be next to me, I know one thing, God can be next to me. If you don't want to shake your hand to me, I know God will shake my hand, his hand to me. If you don't want to give me a smile, I have a good smile from God. As a child of God, please, I want like just to tell you today, my dear friend, we have a father in heaven. Amen. And that in his kingdom, there is everything that we need. People, you know, in our pocket, sometimes we think to have everything that we need. But sometimes one day, 
that pocket can have a big hole at the end. And then when you put your hand there, you see that there is nothing simply because everything that you had went to the hole of the pocket. But if we have God to know that the only Father we have and in Him there is the manifestation of His power. There is a manifestation of His glory. His kingdom. This is what we need every day in our lives. And Jesus knew that. Knew that you, the disciple, I will, I will be with you for a, a, a period of time. But after that, I will leave you and then I will go. But you need to understand the kingdom of God. You, you will need to understand who's God for you. You need to understand how to walk with that God. You need to understand how to relate with that God. Don't look at that God far away, but relate with that God as close as you can. Because He's the creator of everything. He's Amen. our Father. Amen. You know, if you see, I remember in my country, there was people, uh, there was a president, and he, he has children. And uh, every time when you see those children walking, you will understand that those children belong to the president. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. 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 Are you there today? Amen. I can't, I can't feel you today. Amen. Amen. I can't feel you. Was he a party yesterday? Amen. You can see that girls, I, I remember that time um, as young people, we used to go to a place, you know, just uh, they used to call it, uh, uh, there was, it was a cinema, but a girl in that time in a boulevard, um, boulevard with hard drive in the Congo, in the Congo Kinshasa. Uh, the, I mean, sometimes we used to go there, you know, just say the young, the young, and just well dressed, and then, you know, just this kind of thing. And then going there, you know, just so with your friends, and but suddenly you would see uh, Mercedes Benz coming there, and uh, you say, Oh, and they start to mention the name. This is A from the president, this is B, the name B, the name C. They start to name their names, and you say, Oh, Children of president, they are there. So you, you know, just was like a, you see, they are a little bit different. They make the difference. But simply because dear father is a president. But can you imagine you? You are the father who is above all, who is above the king, who is above all president. He's your father, the creator of everything. Oh my brother, you need some time to. Amen. 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 Preach it, preach it. Amen. Preach it. You know, we used to envy those children. In that time, everyone, everybody around us wanted to be friends of that ch adult children. People wanted to be their friends. Some people in there would say, Oh, you know, I'm a friend uh, with. Uh, uh, a the, the child, the, the son of the president. But you know they are there for they, they, the people are there for a time, and now that president is no longer the president is gone dead. Those who envy to become the friend of A B C D finish. But can you imagine being the child of God? God is eternal. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God is eternal. Amen. 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 There is no beginning, there is no end. But the people in power, they have a beginning, there will be a end. Amen. Amen. I remember a friend of mine. 
in this country. I saw him. He was a big man, a really big, big man. And then one day, I saw him at desk in the Tesco. I went just to get uh, some milk for money. And I just I met with him. And then we started to talk. Oh, remember, I we start to talk. But it was a big, 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 big man. Really big man. And uh, that was the time. They finished, the government finished, gone. And they elected other, I mean, there are other people now. And then he, he finished. So then he was like this, without the bodyguard and uh, they're talking, talking. He came just to do some shopping in Tesco, ex where I live. That to tell you that, yeah, the people can be for time. But our father is eternal. Amen. 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 So that's why Jesus wanted his disciples to know that we are children of the one who is eternal. Amen. Our father has not a time. Our father is eternal. He's the creator of heaven. He's the creator of hell. Nothing can go out of that his direction. He has everything is in his hand. Amen. And that's why Jesus taught his disciples. Say, when you are praying, say, our Father in heaven, that to develop the faith that we are the Father who controls everything. That I have a Father who's above all. My situation can be there, but my Father is above my situation. And that he has my situation in his hand. Amen. Amen. Can you imagine a son of the president of this country? You will know that I have a possibility of doing anything. I can go everywhere. I will have a diplomatic passport. When I will go and people will recognize that this is the son of the president. This is the son of the president. But okay, do you know that God has given you a diplomatic passport as well? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. You have a diplomatic passport. All witches, all witch doctors, all everything of the darkness, they know that you belong to the Father. And by the blood of Jesus, God has given you that passport everywhere where you go in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the Lord. Because you are the child of the Father who is in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Church of God, I want to encourage you. Fear not. Fear not. You have a Father who is in heaven. Amen. Don't be discouraged. You have a Father who is in heaven. Amen. Even today you lack. Your Father knows. Hallelujah. Amen. The Father is in control. Let your kingdom come. Allow the kingdom of God to be manifested in your life. Allow the kingdom of God to be manifested in everything that you do. That should be your prayer. Father God, let your kingdom come. Father God, everywhere I go, I want your kingdom come. I want, you, I want your kingdom to be manifested. I want your kingdom to be seen. Actually, People cannot see the manifestation of the kingdom of God. Simply because there are so many people in the darkness now going on around. But I would like to encourage you, children, children of God. We like just to pray every day. Father God, let your kingdom come. Amen. Let be the manifestation of your power in me. Let be the manifestation of your glory. Every time when you walk, People that can see the glory of God in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our prayer is that everywhere we, we are, let people acknowledge that you are different. I gave you an example that the time when we used to be young, going to that place, the Cine Palladium in the Boulevard du Grand Juan. And uh, the, the children of, uh, you know, the big families, they used to make a big difference. They are coming with bodyguards. They're coming with the fancy cars. They make all this big difference. But let the kingdom of God in hearts 
brings difference. Amen. People can see God in us. People can see the glory of God in us. People can see the power of God in us. People see the mercy of God in us. People can see the deliverance of God in us. People can see the anger of God being manifested in every situation of our life. And that people will make the difference that you are a child of God. Because the time has come when people have to know those who serve God and those who don't serve God. You are a child of God. People have to know that you belong to God. You belong to the Father. You belong to the one who created the heaven and earth. People have to see it in everything that you do in life. Amen. 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 At your place of work, people will notice the difference. When you study, let people see the difference. In everything you do, people, let, let them see the difference. That you belong to God. Amen. You are a child of God. Let your kingdom come. My brother, your prayer is, Father God, let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom be manifested in my life. Let the manifestation of glory, your glory, be seen in my earth. Many people, every time they have to go to the hospital, every time, GP, every time, you know, they have to see the doctor, say, Father, let your kingdom come in me. Amen. Because the kingdom of God will bring healing. Amen. There is healing power in the Amen. kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is greatness in the kingdom of God. When you walk, let people notice that this is a child of the kingdom. Amen. Even in our holiness, we let people see the difference through our holiness. People are sanctified. We fear God. You can fall short today, but stand up and walk again. Amen. Hallelujah. You can do a mistake today. Everybody will do the mistake. Everybody. Everyone will do the mistakes. But if the mistakes happen, stand up. Walk again. Hallelujah. Amen. Stand up. Walk again. Cry unto his grace. Cry unto his mercy. And stand up and walk again. Amen. Because you are a child of God. His kingdom in you will make the difference. In his kingdom in you, people will notice and will see that in you there is something different. There is something different. People always they see the difference in the way you know sometimes they, 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 they drive cars and fancy cars. They like to dress uh, nice clothes. Yes, I'm not against that. But it is not only that. The mark of God in you. If there is a mark of God in you, even the world of darkness can see that in you there is the true mark of the child of God. People can see in you. Even those who can believe or don't believe. But in you there is a mark of a child of God. Amen. You are a child of God. Walk with in the kingdom. And then every time when you walk, let the kingdom of God surround you. Amen. To be surrounded by the power of the kingdom. Hallelujah. To be surrounded by the power of his greatness. Hallelujah. To be surrounded by his glory. And then if his kingdom is in you, nothing can stop you. You become unstoppable. Not can, nobody can stop you. You become unstoppable because you are walking with his kingdom. And the people will look at you and say, but we don't, we don't understand what's going on in you. They will not understand, but simply because in you there is his kingdom. 
Other people can see his glory, the manifestation of his power. Amen. 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 Our Father in heaven, let your kingdom come. Amen. Amen. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What is the will of God? The will of God is everywhere you go to shine so that people can see the difference that you belong to God. Amen. The will of God is for you to walk according to his word, to obey the word of God, to walk in the line of God, in the line of his word. The will of God is to walk according to his promise. His promise, you cannot find the promise of God somewhere else. You will only find the promise of God through his word. People of God, to walk in the will of God, learn how to meditate the word of God day by night. Night by day, every day, every night, meditate on the word of God. Then you will discover what is the will of God for you. Amen. If you cannot meditate the word of God, you, it's difficult to find what is the will of God for you. The will of God is in his word. You know, sometimes people want people to prophesy over them so that they say, oh, this is the will of God. I'm not against prophecy. I'm not against dreams. I'm not against revelation. I have the prophecy myself. I prophesy as well. I had a dream myself. I saw dreams as well. But uh, what is in the word of God is the word of God itself. The minute that you stick on the word of God, you meditate the word of God, you will discover what is the will of God in your life. You know, in nowadays people don't like to meditate on the word of God. They like just to hear someone just to read them. To say I have a prophecy for you. And then when they hear someone saying that I have a prophecy for you. Or say oh God said. Yeah that's fine God can prophesy. Yeah that's true. But it's not enough. This is not enough. Go deep, deep, deep in the word of God. Learn to dig the word of God. Learn to understand what God is saying to you. I'm telling you that God speaks. God is still speaking today through his word. If you and I, we are obedient to the word of God. If we meditate on the word of God, we will hear the voice of God. Amen. I said we will hear the word of God. Amen. I said we will hear the voice of God. Amen. You know, people think that the voice of God will come like a big, rough voice. Oh, I am God. I want to tell. No, 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 no. Can be only just a simple word in the Bible, in His word. And then the Holy Ghost take that word and then tell you. I am God, I am with you. Fear not. Amen. And then the Holy Ghost take that word and they come to you and they show you the manifestation of his power. A single word in the Bible. But if you don't know how to meditate on the word of God, you are waiting for a, a prophet I don't know, coming from uh, wherever, just was, we will take the telephone and start to ring and tell you, I have something for you. Uh, and then after his prophecy, you send some money there. That's, you have to be careful doing this. You need someone to prophesy and then you send 500 euro, 100 euro, instead of giving the money in your local church. You don't give the offering in your church, but you prefer to give 500 to a certain prophet somewhere. You have to be careful. God is in his word. 
when you listen to the word of God, even when you meditate on the word of God, you will hear God. Amen. His will will be done. His will is in His word. When you read His word, you will understand the will of God. What God wants for you. What God wants for your house. What God wants for your ministry. What God wants for everything. I'm not saying that God, God will not use other people through prophecy. No, I'm not saying that. God can use people through prophecy. God can use dreams. God can use anything he wants to use. But the Bible says in the beginning was the word. So it, when we know that in the beginning everything started with the word of God. So the church must become lovers of the word of God. Be lovers of the word of God. When we become lovers of the word of God, and we will be able to understand what is the will of God. Amen. 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 Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, I just uh, for today to encourage you, I follow in my spirit to encourage you to know that we are all children of God. Our Father in heaven. So the one who controls everything, the one who has everything in his hand, is our Father. To remind you that you have a Father who has everything. To remind you that your Father can make a difference so that people can see that you belong to the true God. Our God, our Father always make differences. When the people of darkness will raise up, our Father will make a difference for those who be belong to Him. And people will see the difference. Amen. I'll just encourage you again today just to know that His kingdom is the manifestation of His glory. Amen. So let his kingdom come. We ask the kingdom of God in our home, the kingdom of God in our, our work, the kingdom of God in our cars, the kingdom of God in our schools, the kingdom of God in everything that we do. Father God, we want your kingdom come. And then wherever we are, people will see that we are the children of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. People can say that simply because we are the children of kingdom. The enemy can stand against you, but because you are the child of the kingdom, the father would make a big difference. The plots can be again made against you, but because you are the child of the kingdom, God always will protect you. God always will change plans of the enemy. God always will destroy plans of, of the enemy. And they will say, this is what we plan against you, but we couldn't succeed. Simply because you are a child of the kingdom. And let his will come on earth as it is in heaven. The only way to understand the will of God is to dig in the word of God. Love the word of God. Become a lover of the word of God. Then you will see. You will understand. You will learn more and more about the will of God. Can you just raise all together, raise on our feet as we are just so close in prayer. Just where you are. Just raise on our feet. Ask. Start to thank God because today God help you to understand that you are a child, is child on the throne. That your father is in control of everything. That your father has everything in his hand. 
your father. The one who is controlling everything is your father. And you are the child of that father. And that your prayer is the father, I want to walk in the kingdom, in your kingdom, because I'm a child of the kingdom. And I want to walk in your will. And then let me be familiar to the word of God, to know the word of God, to be connected with the word of God, so that I will understand what is the will of God for me. To take more and more in the word of God. To be familiar with the word of God. To be connected with the word of God. And then I, for me, I will be able to discover what is the will of God for me. Let us pray. Start to pray where you are. Start to pray. Father God, I thank you for your word. Father God, thank you because we believe, Father God, as your word said. Jesus, you told your disciple how to pray. Father God, today you are taught how again that through that prayer we understand that you are our Father. As our Father, you are sitting on the throne and you control everything. Our Father in heaven, you are the Lord of all. Father God, teach us to walk in your kingdom. Teach us, Father God, to be familiar to the word of God. Your word, in your word we will discover what is your will? Because your will, we can only find your will in your word. We thank you, Father God. To you the glory. To you the power. For everything that you are doing in our midst. In Jesus Christ our Lord. We have so prayed. Amen. 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 Can we put our hands together for the glory of our God?